Hi guys, welcome to the all new and improved video corner. We have a new Silly Farm launching very shortly. So we have lots of great videos coming to you for this month. And I have a special guest artist in the studio today and a special guest friend, Christopher. He's our model and this is Pam. She is one of the artists and she's headed to Vegas to kick butt, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. So she's going to show you guys a really cool St. Patrick's Day inspired design. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to put this to use and have a lot of fun with it. So take it away, Pam. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do today is use um, my favorite um, Bright Leaf Arty Cake. And I'm going to show you how to do some really quick uh, shamrocks. And we're going to do a little bit of a tribal design for a young man. So I'm using the half inch Arty, um, Arty Cake brush. And then I'm using Bright Leaf. As you can tell, I use mine all the time. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do is pick up the black, the dark green, and the light green with the smaller brush. And I'm going to load the black on the outside. And what you're going to do is you're going to lead for your shamrocks. And I'm going to turn your head sideways. You're going to lead with a black. And you're going to do your first leaf. We're going to do a three-leaf clover. And you can just fill in a little bit. Now, since he's a guy, you can make this more feminine with a girl. And what I'm going to use now is a um, the wolf um, green, and I'm just going to do some tribal designs with this around his eye. So we've got just a simple little design here, and we want to make it look a little tribal, so we're going to come up this way, and you always do your U for your tribals, and then you can do some different hooks on it, so you can look like a tough guy. <laughs> and then we're going to come up this way. There you go. In that quick, you've got a pretty cool looking little shamrock. I think that's a great design, especially fast and quick. A lot of you guys who would do bar events or they just want something quick and simple by the eye, this is a great um, eye design for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, now I'm going to show you a new, another St. Patrick's Day. Um, design and this is the new a new rainbow cake for you all and I'm going to do an Irish flag with some shamrocks this is great for little boys or little girls and so what I'm going to do is sponge get my sponge and I'm going to wipe it across and I've loaded my sponge with the colors um, so the flag it's good to google flags <laughs> and see how they actually are. So this is let me get this here. This is the Irish flag. And I'm gonna have to pull that up a little bit. And I've got a little bit of hang over there, but I'm gonna add some shamrocks. And I'm using my bright leaf again, but I'm using a small brush. And you can use any of your smaller brushes if you want some tiny details but want to uh, blend colors. So any of your flat brushes that are small, you can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little shamrock here since I kind of went out of my square. Do one there. Do another one over here. And you can see you still get the um, effects of the arty cake, but they're a little bit smaller, and it's kind of nice to use. You can use this by the eye. And now I'm going to make a flat pole. Now with girls, you can add green glitter, which is kind of cool. And I'm just doing a teardrop, and I'm using wolf green. Do a faint line that way. 
paint line that way. Get a little bit of a white highlight. Get my white here. Very oh. cool. If you can put your arms straight for a second. All right. Him and his Irish tattoo. Thank you, Pam, for joining us and for sharing with us some really great ideas that I hope you guys put to use right away for St. Patrick's Day. So I hope you have some great luck. Say bye. Bye.